Friends, today I'll be discussing about my favorite AI tool and that is even much better than ChatGPT when it comes to the extraction of data from highly cited peer-reviewed research papers. And the most important thing is you can use its premium version free for next one year. So to know how you can do that, please watch this video carefully. So hello everyone and welcome you all to your favorite channel, My Research Support. And today in this video, we'll be discussing about consensus. So this is the best AI powered academic search and analysis tool and especially designed for students, researchers and academicians. And hence, you will quickly get the best answers for your research questions means whenever you will put research question so that would be searched through millions of scientific peer-reviewed research articles and you will get the answers in the form of summary with proper citations not only that but unlike other ai tools here you will be having most powerful advanced filters so that you can ensure that you are extracting information only from highly cited research articles and also you can limit the category of journals as well and you have the flexibility to set many more filters let us now see how you can do that so this is the main home page of this consensus i also provided this link in this video description you can refer to that so in order to use this you have to first sign up and then you can log in with your login id and password so i have already logged in with my login credential so you can see this interface is really very simple so you have to enable this pro analysis so that you will be getting in-depth answers to your questions now before we move ahead discussing this platform you have to prepare outline or skeleton for your literature review i mean most of the times we perform literature review and prepare a literature review document. Let me discuss in brief about my published review article. Now, let us say I want to write a review article which is based on the influence of coating materials and techniques on the corrosion response of magnesium alloys. But before I start writing this review article, I need to check whether this coating materials and techniques will really influence the corrosion behavior or not. And for that, all I have to do is look this up in consensus. So here you have to paste or maybe you have to type your question. Will coating materials and techniques influence the corrosion behavior of magnesium alloys? And then you have to click here. So here you got the answer to your question. Then the most important thing is about this consensus meter, which shows 94% yes. That does mean very high influence of these materials and techniques on the corrosion behavior of the material. Then possibly 6% mixed and no zero percent as this consensus meter shows this yes or no answers based on this highly cited research articles you can definitely trust this answer so to get further information you can click on expand consensus snapshot and here you will get detailed information on what basis this consensus meter is showing 94 percent influence so which is based on recency methods journals and number of citations now one more most important part is about the summary of this key coating techniques and their impact. That does mean you can not only get the answer to your research question, but along with that, you will get summary for this answer, which is based on number of research articles. And you can see this in text citations are included. And then in addition to this summary, you can also access the preview of this in text citations from here. So this is first research article which is cited this is second research article and along with that you will also get some of the metrics of this research article so you can see this this is recent research article which has 80 citations then this would be the second research article which also has 88 citations so as i said most probably you will be getting the information from the highly cited research articles so that is really most important because the base of your review or research paper must be very strong and that would be decided from the citations you have included and the popularity of those research articles so this point means a lot now in order to preview let us say i need to preview this research article you have to click on expand study snapshot now let us come back to the summary now let's talk about how you can use this information in your literature review document as we will be talking about this research article let us say this is the point under that i need to include this information so the one way is i may copy this information so for that you have this option you have to click on copy pro analysis and then you will have these two options copy text and copy with citations so you can copy the text with citations and you can paste that in your research document and you may also edit that text however I will prefer you to move ahead with the second way of using this text in your research or review document. So that is using this information and converting this information either into a table or into research diagram and schematic. So that is really highly recommended. 
and that will improve the impact of your review article or literature review part of your PhD thesis and research paper. Obviously, this information, even if you are converting that into a table or schematic, that should be followed with proper citations. Now, let me talk about one more interesting feature. By using that, you can further refine or polish this answer and that is applying advanced filters. And to do that, you have to click on filter. Now, let us say, I need to focus only on the research articles those have published after 2022. So accordingly, you can select this published year. Then you can scroll down. You have option to exclude or include preprints, this open access. And the most important thing is number of citations. Now let us say I need the information which is extracted from the research articles. Those have minimum hundred number of citations then you can also click on methods under that you will find many advanced types you can tick meta analysis if you are interested into meta analysis systematic review rct non rct observational study etc then you will find several other options you can also decide sample size then duration and journals this is again the most important part so you may limit this information which is extracted to answer your question for Q1 journals as well that would obviously have a very strong influence on the answer and overall information fetch. And then finally, you may select country as well. If you are interested in this answer, which is associated to the specific country, then also you can apply this filter and then you will be able to get answer to your research question, which will be based on your applied filters. Now, let me move to the main home page now let us say you don't want to ask any research question but you may need some general information that you need to include in your literature review document then also you can get that by using this consensus so let us say i need the information about the properties of magnesium alloys those affect its corrosion behavior so you can put your prompt here and here itself you have this option to apply different filters means you can apply these filters after you get the answer or you may pre-apply the filters and then you have to just click enter so here you can see this your information is almost ready and this information is based on number of research articles and obviously unlike previous answer you won't find consensus meter because you have asked for general information rather than yes or no research question however you can also easily convert this general prompt into your research question if you want to access this consensus meter means you may say does alloying affect the corrosion resistance of magnesium alloys or you may ask similar types of questions now the same thing you can just copy the summary from here with proper citations or you may convert this into proper schematics diagrams or tables in this way you can incorporate this information in your literature review paper or literature review chapter of your phd thesis or research paper so this is just a general demonstration so i'll recommend you to use and practice this consensus search engine and then only you will make yourself familiar with this interface and you can yield better results by effectively using all the features like consensus meters different filters etc so thank you very much for watching this video i hope this information will help you please don't forget to check out this video description to get one year free premium discount coupon and if you have any queries please write us to comments we will definitely try to answer all these comments so i'll see you in my next video bye bye